everybody, this is me in the garden, as you can see. The absolute place I love to be. I'm missing you all, but what a wonderful way to connect in this manner. I'll see you soon. I've missed, desperately missed, um, entertaining people or having people in the house at first for coffees and things if people were called round and you couldn't invite them in. Um, and I've missed seeing the church community, but I've kept in touch with my pastoral people by telephone and fortunately everybody's been all right up until now. And you're being encouraged to go out for about an hour a day for exercise. So I took full advantage of that. I would go out for a good long walk and we're very privileged and fortunate to live near the seaside or at the seaside. And so I would go one way to Littlehampton or to the other way to East Preston and I explored a thousand ways to get to the beach from Cudlow Garden without going Sound Sea Lane. And then as things have relaxed, we did have two parties. We had party, tea party on Easter Sunday afternoon, and we had another one on VE Day afternoon. Everyone will agree, I think, that we have been blessed with the weather from the beginning of lockdown till now in this area of the country. We've had very little by way of rain. I can only remember a couple of wet days, really, and a bit of damping on the other occasion. But on both those afternoons, it was lovely. So I said to people, at half past three, we will come out on your terrace or your balcony with your cup of tea and your piece of cake, and we will all have afternoon tea together at a distance. And people entered into the spirit of it, and that's what we did. And on Easter Sunday afternoon, even one or two people had made Easter bonnets to come out for the party. Now, of course, it's been easier because one has been able to do a little, a little entertaining or going out. We ate out a lot to help out because we're very patriotic. <laughs> I've done a lot of reading, read some excellent books. Um, can I recommend to everybody The Authenticity Project by someone called Claire Pooley? Who, it is a lovely, lovely read and a nice, it would be a good addition to the church library actually. So I went to church on Sunday just now. Um, wasn't exactly looking forward to it, I have to confess, but I thought it was, it sounds awful to say it was better than anticipated. <laughs> But yes, it was it was good to be there. It was good to be there. Hello everyone. It's really great to have this chance to be able to say hello and to send our best wishes to you all. It seems such a long time since we've been back at church properly and we are certainly missing it a lot. Although it's been lovely to be able to just dip in a little bit in these last few weeks to see one or two people. We've had quite a busy lockdown, actually, what with um, being teachers. So we've kept the schools going. Um, back in June, we had half of the children back into school in a very different way, which was very strange. Took a lot of work, but it was lovely to have them back in. Um, and then since the summer, obviously, we've had everybody back in, which, again, has been incredibly unusual, um, but absolutely wonderful to have all the children back and to get back to some sort of normality. Um, we did get a bit of a break over the summer holidays, fortunately, um, and we were able to get away. We went off onto um, the Norfolk Broads. We hired a boat for the week, just the four of us, which was absolutely fantastic. We had a really great time and it was lovely to have a different set of four walls to be looking at and some different things to be thinking about, making sure that we didn't bump into other boats and that we moored up properly and that we stayed safe. It was, lo it was lots and lots of fun. Looking forward to the chance to be able to see you all again at some point soon. And we do really hope and pray that you're staying well and um, look forward to see you soon. Bye bye. Hello, I am Roden. I miss you. Holiday in the week.
Bye. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day, and grow, grow, grow. And Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so, little ones to him below, they are weak but he is strong, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Hi everyone, we miss you so much, bye. Hi, this is Terry and Joy. Smith. Yes. <laughs> Greeting you from our lounge and how have we coped with lockdown? And the view from our windows is of the sea. It changes every day. Its moods, calm, rough, we see it and it's helped us get through. The other thing that's helped us to get through is discovering via the Methodist recorder that there's a service every Sunday from Central Methodist Hall in London um, at 11 o'clock and we watch it every Sunday. We have done ever since lockdown started. Um, it really helps to make Sunday special. We have missed our family. Um, we've had a new baby granddaughter born. Um, great granddaughter, sorry, great granddaughter <laughs> during lockdown. We haven't seen her yet. She lives in um, Scotland with her mummy and daddy, but one day, soon we hope, we'll manage to get up to Scotland and visit her. Yeah. And we want to see the others, because we now have 15 great-grandchildren. Yeah, yeah. and we, we've missed seeing them. We've seen them a couple of times in the last six months, but um, not as often as we'd like to. But never mind. You know, we're very lucky and we're managing very well. And we send our greetings to send everyone our greetings. who watches this. Bye. Bye.